Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with Fate Samurai Remnant game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart the game. So if the game is running, close the game and then restart the game and it should recognize the controller. This has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. Next step is to make sure that you have the controller on and connected to the computer before you launch the game. So make sure that it is on and it is connected and then you launch the game and then check. So you have to connect the controller before you launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to restart your computer. If nothing is working, you can simply restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now still controller is not working, then unplug all other external USB devices. So if you have any external devices or USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. So if you're not using those devices, disconnect all the external devices and then launch the game. Also, if you have, sometimes you have additional controller connected to the computer, disconnect additional control. Also, if you have HOTAS, wheel, if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. So disconnect all the additional USB adapter connected to the computer and then launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to disable or enable the Steam input. For this, make a right on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab and then select disable steam input now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so disable steam input and then check still you are facing the problem you can always enable steam input and then check but for many player disabling input has worked so you can try this you can also go to steam and then select settings and go to the controller tab and like if you have xbox controller you can turn on Xbox controller. If you have PlayStation, you can turn on PlayStation. If you have generic controller, you can turn on generic over here and then check. Now, still you're facing the problem, then go to Steam, uh, go to the game, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off this option which says enable the Steam overlay volume game and then turn it off and then check. Now, the next step is to launch the Steam in big picture mode and then launch the game. So connect the controller and then on the top right here you can see enter big picture mode. Click on it. And then click on the game. Make sure that controller is connected. Now you can launch the game in big picture mode and then check. Now the next step is to verify the game files. So Go to Steam and then make a right click on the game and then select properties. Go to the install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.